Imagine a futuristic city that stretches for miles across the desert, where everything is stacked vertically. Homes, offices, parks, and even a football stadium sitting on the roof. Now imagine beneath all that, hidden from plain sight, there's a secret marina. Yes, a full-scale port built underneath a skyscraper. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is actually happening in Saudi Arabia, and it's called the Hidden Marina. Let's break it all down. In the dry and empty deserts of northwestern Saudi Arabia, something massive is being built. It's called Neom, and it's part of a $500 billion project aiming to build a smart city of the future. Right at the center of this is a city called The Line, a huge mirrored skyscraper designed to be 100 miles long and home to 9 million people. Most of the talk around Neom has been about high-tech farming, AI systems, and climate-controlled living, spaces. But there's one part that doesn't get as much attention, a hidden underground port known as the Hidden Marina. It's not your usual harbor with ships, cranes, and big containers in plain sight. This one is going to sit quietly under the main structure of the line, changing how we think about cities and the sea. Today, we're going to break down exactly what the Hidden Marina is, why it matters, and how it's shaping the future of both urban life and global trade. The Hidden Marina is part of the first phase of the line project, but don't think of it like your average port. Instead of being built out into the sea like most harbors, this one is tucked under the actual skyscraper city. Architectural designs show that it will sit beneath or just behind the mirrored wall of the line, almost invisible from the outside. Ships will be able to dock underneath the city itself, something we've never really seen before. This port will serve many purposes. From luxury yachts and ferries to cargo ships and automated boats, it will handle a wide variety of sea traffic. It's expected to stretch around 2.5 kilometers long and rise 500 meters high, with enough space to hold about 200,000 residents in this first segment alone. That includes over 80,000 homes, 9,000 hotel rooms, as well as schools, shops, and entertainment spaces. There's also a twist that no one expected. A stadium built on the roof of the city, more than 350 meters above the ground. This stadium is planned to host the 2034 FIFA World Cup and will run entirely on clean energy like wind and solar. That's the level of ambition they're working with. Believe it or not, construction has already started. The design uses a modular system, meaning it's being built in sections, each one about 800 meters long. This allows different parts of the city to be built and used without waiting for the whole structure to be finished. The Hidden Marina is the first major section under development. According to recent reports, more than 90 million cubic meters of earth have already been moved. That's a huge amount of groundwork. Around 140,000 workers are currently involved in the overall construction of the line, and 5,000 of them are focused just on the Hidden Marina. Satellite images show real progress being made with excavation and foundation work. Originally, the entire city was planned to be 170 kilometers long by the year 2030, housing 9 million people. But recent updates suggest they've scaled back the goal. Now the main focus is finishing the 2.5 kilometer hidden marina section by 2030, with the full project being pushed back to 2045. This part is truly mind-blowing. Building a full-size marina underneath a 500 meter tall skyscraper comes with serious challenges. First, there's the foundation problem. A structure this tall needs incredibly deep and strong foundations to hold up all that weight. At the same time, engineers have to dig out and build a giant space for the marina underneath without messing up the stability of the city above. Then there's the issue of flooding. Since the marina is below ground and right next to the Red Sea, water could easily seep in. Engineers are expected to use advanced systems like submersible gates, marine barriers, and high-powered pumps to keep the water out. And don't forget, the environment. Saudi Arabia has said that Neom will be a green and sustainable city. So the hidden marina also has to be built using eco-friendly materials, run on renewable energy, and follow strict rules to avoid harming the ocean or marine. Life. That means no wastewater can be dumped into the sea, and all systems have to work cleanly and efficiently. This isn't just about building a fancy underground port. The location of the hidden marina gives Saudi Arabia direct access to the Red Sea, which connects to the Suez Canal, one of the busiest shipping routes in the world. 
In fact, about 10% of global trade and over 7% of the world's oil pass through this route. By placing a high-tech marina in Neom, Saudi Arabia is positioning itself as a key player in global trade. The marina's secret and secure design could also make it ideal for sensitive deliveries or VIP visitors. Geopolitically, this location is also interesting. It sits close to Israel's maritime border and near Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, two very strategic areas. So the hidden marina isn't just about shipping containers or luxury boats. It could play a big role in international relations. Now, let's talk about the flashy side of things. Neom isn't just about trade and logistics, it's also about luxury. The Hidden Marina is expected to feature one of the most exclusive yacht clubs in the world. Picture this, someone sails in on a yacht, steps into a private elevator and gets taken 100 floors up to a penthouse with a sky garden. That's the kind of lifestyle Neom is aiming to offer. This kind of discreet and stylish entry is perfect for billionaires, tech leaders, and political guests who don't want to deal with busy airports or land routes. Nayam's goal is to become a magnet for tourism, technology, and global events, and the hidden marina plays a huge part in that. There might even be underwater observatories, floating theaters, and marine research labs. All of this adds up to a futuristic and fun experience by the sea. Here's where things get a little more serious. The Gulf of Aqaba, where the marina is being built, is home to some of the most delicate coral reefs in the world. Scientists have warned that building huge structures like this, especially if it involves dredging or pouring concrete, can be really bad for marine ecosystems. Saudi Arabia has promised that Niyam will be fully powered by renewable energy, like wind, solar, and even green hydrogen. If they stick to this plan, the hidden, marina could become the first zero emission port ever built. That would mean electric docking systems, AI-controlled cranes, and ships running on clean energy, no diesel engines allowed. But many environmental groups are still cautious. Until full reports are released, it's hard to know if Neom will live up to these promises or just follow the same pattern as past mega-projects that claim to be green, but weren't. The hidden marina is shaping up to be one of the most unique parts of Neom, and maybe even one of the boldest urban ideas ever attempted. If it works, we could see a new way for cities to connect with the ocean. Instead of massive industrial, ports cluttering up the coastline, future cities might build their ports underneath, making them cleaner, more efficient, and more beautiful. But there are still a lot of questions. Will the engineering hold up? Will the environment be protected? And will it all be finished on time and within budget? The hidden marina is a big bet, not just for Saudi Arabia, but for the future of how humans build, live, and trade. The hidden marina shows just how far Saudi Arabia is willing to go to build the future. Whether you think it's brilliant or over the top, there's no denying that this is one of the boldest construction projects on Earth. From a stadium in the sky to ships docking beneath your feet, this isn't just a city. It's a whole new way of thinking about how we live and move. What do you think about the hidden marina? Is it a smart move or a risky experiment? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.